Welcome back guys, track cam. We are going to make some big track cams with cam tool today. The first video, I hope you've watched the first video, you might have like a basic understanding on how to use the cam tool itself, but in this video we are going to make uh, a series of cameras that will replay over and over as you go around the laps. The reason I've chose this track is because the English Town doesn't have its own uh, tracking cameras, it does have a sequence of its own cameras and we'll just run through them quickly. But they're all fixed. We'll play that quickly and just cycle through. Um, and none of them move as such. None of them will track a specific car or your own car. So it's all very well, but if we want to have a, a more polished, I suppose, more professional looking camera system, then we're going to have to create one. So let's get into it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our car and we want to just try and get the car sort of to the uh, start finish line or as close to it as possible um, and we're going to do that by the reason the car is not moving but the uh, the position is not moving but the time is because the car's not actually moving so what we're going to want to do is just hit rewind and it is rewinding it's just because the car's not moving so once we start moving you can see the meterage is going to change and it's quite important to pay attention to this number at all times because this is what we're going to use for the positioning of the cameras and how we want to use them. So again, it's quite important to make sure that you pay attention to the track position in meters. And we're going to, there we go, so we can go back. Okay, so we've just gone past the zero mark. So the reason that we want the zero mark is because the first camera is going to activate at zero meters. That is not something you can change. That's going to be the first camera, but we can choose where it goes. So again, we're going to activate free cam and we're going to move the camera to where we want it. And again, I must stress like it's your choice where you put the cameras, how you put the cameras. You can put them in the air. You can put them behind the tire walls. You can put them right in the middle of the track. That's entirely your choice. All we're going to cover in this video today is how to set them so that they run in sequence. Um, and if you want to make any changes to like the FOV, uh, the focus point you can make some cool like tricks and edits with that as well so we'll cover that too okay so we're going to place our first camera and i suppose somewhere where we can see the corner as it develops because remember in this mode the camera will track the car so we can just start the camera and uh, the car's going to sit there for a minute but we can move it up there we go so it starts moving we'll just hit play as Mr. Falk comes around, and I start to move, and we'll see that the camera is going to track the car and follow it until we set another camera, or uh, until you, you know, make a next step in the camera itself. But that's quite advanced, and we'll get into that uh, later, or maybe in the next video. Okay, so we're in a position where we want to be for the first camera, so we're going to set the camera where we want it. But first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to, because it's quite far away, we're going to bring the point of view. So you can use your mouse roller if you want to try and fine tune it. It's uh, now that you fine tune you, you can you can't input the number manually so you'll have to try and you know sort it yourself. But it's something around there that's fine. Just we're just gonna smash through this and see what we can do. So again it's gonna be quite zoomed in as the car comes around now. So let's just try that again. Just so you get an idea of how it's gonna look so it's a good idea to just, as you go, set the camera and see if you like how it looks. If you don't like how it looks, stop it, rewind it, move the camera, go again. So let's say that was maybe a bit close. We could either adjust the POV and run it again. It's a bit better. Or you can deactivate the camera and just move it back with your arrow keys. And that, again, just turn it back on. Rewind it. Are you happy with it? If you are, awesome. Good. So we're going to go back. Because the, the whole idea of this is we're going to use the, the car as the marker point and we're going to use the car as the, the next movement point. So you always want to keep the car in focus and choose how your cameras work around it. Okay. We'll turn the camera off. Here we go. So fix the camera. This is setting the camera's position to... Uh, forgive me, I've just got a message. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the FOV as well. And all these numbers here, I don't know why, but I know that they need to be fixed. And that is because of a video from, uh, I can't say his name correctly, I think it's a, a Troopolador. 
the ATR guy and then I, I followed his instructions to follow this first. So we've got the camera in position, we've got that in position. So they're all on, just to make sure they're all on. Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to move to the next one. But what we want to do first is just turn the camera on, follow the car around. And as the car moves to a point, yeah, so it's buried in smoke there. So this kind of goes out of shot. So that's not where we want to be for the next camera. So you leave the car where it is and move your position. And again, wherever you want it to be is entirely your thing. Um, with this corner being a nice hairpin, you can cheat and we'll just follow the car around. So let's pop it here. So what we're going to do to add another camera, let's just move that over a little. These are your cameras on the left side and then these are your stages inside of the camera. So you can have a camera with as many movements as you like and then you can move to a next camera or we can just add cameras as we go. So it's important to remember now the number up here is 137. The car's position behind the smoke is what it thinks is 137 meters from the zero point, the start line. So when we click plus camera now, it's going to pop that into here. So it's like we fixed the camera right now where we are. Do we like the FOV? Yeah, we'll just leave it on there for all intents and purposes. It's fine. And you can see here, some of them are fixed and some of them are not. So it's always a good idea to just come in and check, make sure they're all correct. And what you can do now is rewind. So what we should expect to see when the car gets to 137, the camera will change. Lovely, there it goes. And now you can just watch the car go around until you want to change the view. But being that we're on the inside of the hairpin, it's kind of cool. So, again, we'll come to, let's say we'll come to here. We'll turn this off. So the car's now 310 away from the thing. So this is still camera two. So what we need to do is add another camera. But first, we're going to want to move to where we want to be. So we've got a nice, uh, let's just zoom out a little here. We'll change the FOV for this one. Uh, somewhere in the middle again, you know your cinematics is your choice So we're in the place where we want to be do we want to be there? Let's maybe just go in a little Cool, we're gonna plus the camera. So as soon as we hit plus it's gonna pop that red and make 310 Beautiful and again, we'll just select those so the FOV now is at 30. That's fine We'll leave that as it is and we'll leave that as it is. So that's good So again, if we turn this on now, we can watch the car come around say yeah we'll stop them there that's fine because then we can put them in fact, no, we'll go there so we can put the next camera over the hill cool all right so we're there so we're going to turn that off and we're going to move across okay all right so we're inside a dip here and maybe just go a little bit up so we don't lose the car and now what we're going to do is they're at 310 so the camera would start here but what we're going to do we're just going to move them back very slightly to no sorry they're at 506 so we want them to go there about there that's fine so 500 we're going to put the next camera in they're just under 500 and we're going to zoom in because it's going to be a nice close tracking shot pop those there awesome let's put that on and then we can just watch them come around That will do. So they're far enough away now, 687. We can turn that off and we'll go to the next point. So I hope you guys are following what we're doing here. So as now the car is where it is, it's when it gets to that position uh, over there, it's going to activate the camera that we're on now. So we're going to ask this camera to activate, like so. So they're just under 687. Again, make sure all your boxes are ticked. Now, the FOV, as they come by, they're going to come by quite close. So I imagine we'll just pop it out one. They're all checked. Lovely. So what we can do now, we'll turn it on. If we just rewind, just to give you guys the idea, back to the, there we go. So we know that's the second stage, so the camera's going to change. Just watch it back. And I am conscious that this is quite a long time approach to the video but you obviously want to see the steps as they go through. So we're going to wait for the last camera to activate and that's 686 so again we'll have to see if they get to there. 
power changes. I'm going to want to watch them come by. And let's say we watch them initiate. There we go, that's fine. Okay, so we've set the camera where they're going to initiate. We're going to want to move to the next position now and create the next camera. And this one being for the wall run. And pop this somewhere here. And remember, the camera's going to track, so it will track the car around the corner, up over the hill. FOV, uh, yep, that looks around fine. So we're going to pop another camera in, 990. Make sure they're correct, FOV is correct. If we then turn that on, we can watch the car come in. Oh, round the back, not a great example <laughs> of an overtake. But <laughs> Alright, so cars are out of shot. Let's pause that there. We want to go and make a next camera because we can no longer see them. So we're going to go a little bit rushy for the last section uh, of this video. But what we'll do is we'll pop in a FOV demo here as well quickly. Alright, so the cars are at 990 and I want to add a new camera right where I am. So let's pop that there. That's good. So we're going to take auto focus off. And what that's going to do is if we... So you know control and if you click anywhere you can move the uh, so you can see watch here and if I'm clicking close it comes closer and obviously you can move it further away. So the focus let's say we want the focus to be right around here as the car comes around the corner we can watch the focus number change. There we go. So it stays here and you'll see it goes a little bit blurry as the car's driving away which is cool. We'll stop that there, that's fine, and then we'll go for another camera. All the way over here. And again, because we, we can just cheat being on the middle here with this weird guy that always looks at you. We'll pop it here, I think. Drop in, autofocus is true, lovely. Make sure those are on. Activate your cam, just watch them come round. Awesome, okay, so we don't want to, in fact, let's just go back a little, because then I want to see this geezer in the corner here, so we'll just go back a bit more and stop there. All right, so we're going to want to make our next camera now, so again, off. And do we want to go inside low? Or should we go high? Let's go high. More oh, defense. No, we'll have to go. Oh, decisions, decisions. Yeah, we'll just go here. Sorry. Okay. So again, now that the cars are there, we're going to add the next camera in. Fix that. Fix that. Now let's just zoom in a touch, just just because we can. That's fine. Let's activate it and watch it by. Maybe a bit close on the FOV. And then it should, there we go, back to the first camera. So that's one lap, guys, and that's that's the track cam itself done. Now, now that that's there, we can turn the HUD off. We can skip to anywhere in the video. And it's going to follow the cams that we've made, so... Not the best example, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll go here. There we go, we'll play. So one lap, using the track cam, get rid of this. Hopefully this low shot will look quite nice as the car comes by. Awesome. Nice big entry. Nice big wall run. Lovely. Oh, that was a nice crash. Alright guys, so you can see the cameras, they all work. As I say, once you've set it up, it will just keep running and running and running. Um, what we'll do is we'll just put the save. Control H to bring your HUD back up. In the previous video, I promised you that you didn't realise that getting it and it was bring it back to the same button. So yeah, Control H to get rid of your cam tool and bring it back up. And what we're going to want to do now is go into settings. 
say, I've already made one for this track, but it was a, a really camp demo. Right. Fixed here. And it's safe. And that's it. So what we'll quickly do is we'll go back to, let's say we want to remove the last camera. So this is the last camera and it was incorrect. Let's say we want to move it back up like, above the wall. How are we going to do this? We're going to unselect everything. Everything that's red needs to be unselected before it will let you take it off. So now you can use this minus key and it's gone. So it would now, if I was to activate the track cam, it's going to jump back to the camera on the wall. See that next to Mr. I don't want to look at you. So what we're going to need to do now is set the next camera. So again here and we're going to undo the camera and we're going to move. So let's do it right on the wall here. Might be just enough. Uh, that's cool, lovely. We'll change the FOV so it doesn't look so silly. So again, same process. The car's in the position where we want it to be. We're going to add the next camera in. We're going to lock everything in. FOV as well. Activate the cam and let's just see how it looks. Yeah, that's cool. And then it will just jump back to the first camera and you shoot. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys, so I'll probably put the link to this basic track cam on uh, Race Department or on my Google Drive. I'll put a link to that in the video description and some other video links as well, the first video instruction tutorial and anything else. And lastly, to load your replay, go back into the settings and click load. And here we can see we've got the fixed camera settings there. So it's just loaded all the cameras in. And to turn it on, just whack that bad boy on. Again, for your Control H. And off it goes. As always, if you've got any questions in the comments, I will reply as I can do. If it helped, give it a like. If it didn't help, drop a dislike, and I'll see you in the next one.